Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. So we're gonna continue. There is something spooky and dark in this cave, so we're gonna find out what it is. gonna be so happy to see you wait let me get this straight this quest was just to track down a stupid llama it's not just a stupid llama it's uh it's important okay it's apparently like a uh, treasure sniffing llama or uh, it's important okay please just trust me we just need to bring her back to her owner. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? <sighs> oh, okay, you big, ugly llama thing. Just hold still so we can get this over with. That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... Look <laughs> 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 oh, gross! armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you. Mayor Jesse. Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel. How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Whispers. Uh, 
I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here. I'll help you take it off. Okay. Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Man, what are the odds? Command blocks, portal keys, why is it always me? I don't know, but there's definitely a pattern. Uh-oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Come on, let's get you up out of there! Now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of... heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. I... I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, it gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Yep. Wow, that is... bottomless. Well... We can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There, come on. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? That works. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... yeah, I, I know, I know. But this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked... by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and... now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's... uh... It's been... not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Petra, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea that a leader was like that. Yeah, she's... ambitious. 
And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Mm, I don't know if this is quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon Town. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. That's why I like Beacon Town better, too. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just... Really need this to go well. Petra, you're not scared of her, are you? What? No, she, she's just... She's really manipulative, all right? Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep, she's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up new rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches. Come on, you. Oh, Luna, my darling. You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella? Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. <sighs> I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. 
Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra. Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. Uh, I know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. I feel kind of betrayed. Way, way nicer than yours. I'm actually mad at Petra, like... Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Yeah, Petra's gonna have some explaining to do. I'm still upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I... Yeah, I deserve that. Yeah, you like do you deserve said, it. Let's talk about it later. No. Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. Kinda don't want- I just want... don't know how we're gonna do that. Kinda don't want to talk to her right now. Stilla's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Why are we even helping her? Oh, screw this crap. Let's fight our way in. We'll roll in, fight the bodyguard, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get out! fire it up. I don't like you. I don't like you either. I'm not a fan of yours either. We still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes, I do. It does seem like weird timing. Shush. Hey, just you! I'm trying to have a conversation here! This whole Champion City thing's kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it, though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey! What's going on out here? Uh. You, so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yipes! What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean the friends who are never around anymore? I kind of run a town. What did you say? No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. Yes. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there. It's kind of how it works. Resources. Once you save the world, you're kind of the hero. That's kind of how it works, Petra. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. They're busy. Do you know how it that feels happens. to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. You, know, you haven't loyalty, huh? You haven't friends, been loyal either. The people who take care of you, doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, dummy. But uh, do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? Yes. I've got my own life, my own stuff, too. Okay, well then why are you here asking me for Stella's help? This is Stella's treasure room? Go ahead, take care of it yourself. Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. 
Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this makes you a hero? Treasure you got from other people? I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? <clears throat> so, our rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival! Says the person breaking into my treasure room. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Who needs it? You couldn't stop me if you wanted to. That sword is ours. So, Classy, just remember that you had to beat up on an innocent, beautiful civic leader to get it. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A There's day you no won't learn till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. Yeah, I'm kind of mad at Petra, though. Just because people get busy does not mean you could go ahead and start lying and stuff. Feels That's so good to have you back. It's kind of messed up. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry. Okay. You should I be. I already know I don't deserve this back. Yeah, you don't. I really want to say I forgive you. It's not gonna do anything. Silent treatment. Yeah, I get. That. Yeah. I'm gonna make it up to you. Not I gonna swear. be nice this time. I'm usually nice. I'm not gonna be nice this time because I don't think I don't really care. What is that? Stop that. Or those. Well, oh, that's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Ah! Okay. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. How we're gonna get this to hold? That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jax fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Don't take it personally, dude. Should be somewhere down here, I think. 
Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Ah, ah. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Mountain, the ice crags of doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra, Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. Alright guys, I think we're going to end it off here with the button. I think that's good. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as supports my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.